Now coming to the final part of this theorem proving. What we were doing? Our aim was to find f of f of f of infinite times 1 where f of x was a function which was 1 minus 1 minus px to the power of k and we have looked at this function so I will just roughly make it here so we have looked at this function if these are our axis and let's say this is okay not this uh, let's say this is a line y equals to x we saw that the first point of this function was here at origin and second point was something which is less than 1 and then when we saw that the slope of this function at this origin is nothing but a re basic reproductive number r0. Now let's see how we are going to find out this value of q star which is f of f of f of infinite times 1 when our r0 is less than 1 and when our r0 is greater than 1. Okay. So let me draw the graph neatly here. This is the graph and see this is the line which is y This is the line y equals to x and let's say this is the point what will this point be 1 comma 1 and for our function we know that one point is here and then one point is somewhere here which is less than 1 and then let's look at the first case let's say the value of r0 greater than 1 when the value of r0 greater than 1 we know that our function, its slope is going to be greater than 1. So, this line y equals 2x is corresponding to the slope equals to 1. So, slope greater than 1 will go something like this. So, I draw something like this. So, our function looks something like this. Okay. So this is our function and I write that this function is my f of x. You see what is my aim? My aim is to find f of f of f of infinite times 1. Let's see how do we do it. So I, I just uh, make a little bit change to this figure. Okay, I want some sharp points over here okay yes so this is the point 1 comma 1 now see something very interesting is going to happen i know that this point this point over here is 1 comma 1 right let's say i draw a line vertically here i draw a line vertically here what do you think is this point over here so you see the value of x axis remains the same which is 1 and what is the value of y axis over here? This is the function y equals to f of x. So the value of y over here is f of 1 isn't it? So this is this point is 1 comma f of 1. Okay. Now let me draw a line horizontally over here. When I draw a line horizontally over here what do you think is this, this point over here? So this point over here, now you see the value of x changes and what does the value of x becomes? This line is y equals to x. So the value of x here should become equal to the value of y and what is the value of y? f of 1. So I get a point here, f of 1 comma f of 1. So far so good. And I think that you are now getting an idea of what I am doing. Let me again draw a line vertically over here. And what do you think is now? this point over here this point over here again the value of x axis remains the same which was f of 1 and what does the y axis becomes y here is f of x so y axis here is f of f of 1 
So you see how we are moving from 1 to f of 1 to f of f of 1 and then I go horizontally over here and it will be nothing but f double dash of 1, f double dash of 1 and then I can come here and it will be f triple dash of 1 and when I do keep doing it infinite times what will happen? When will it converge? You see what will happen at this point now? At this point both of these curves meet. Right? So when I am going to do this process infinite times, this process will converge here. Because after this I can't draw horizontally or vertically because both of the curves have met. So when I do this infinite times, I converge at a point and you see what is this point? This point is greater than 0. Which means that your f of f of f of infinite times 1 turns out to be greater than 0. Which means the value of q star in this case is greater than 0. So we are done with the first part. What happens when r0 is greater than 1? What happens when r0 is less than 1? Is entirely the same, completely similar. So again here was our curve and here was the line let's say y equals to x and then one point of our plot was here and another point of our plot was here and we know here r0 is less than 1. If r0 is less than 1 how will my curve look like? It will go something like this right? Something like this. And now I can repeat the same procedure. So, uh, I can repeat the same procedure. This point here is 1 comma 1. Right. I again drop this here. And I get, what do I get? 1 comma f of 1. And then I go horizontally here. And I get f of 1 comma f of 1. And then I come here. And I get f of 1 comma f double dash of 1. And then I go here. I get f double dash of 1 comma f double dash of 1 and I keep doing. So where is this curve going to converge is definitely at 0. So when you do it infinite times the curve converges at 0. So in this case f of f of f of f of f of, f of 1 turns out to be 0. Which means that in this case q star equals to 0.